What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be going over remove duplicates from Sorted Array. Uh, it's an easy problem on LeetCode. I know I said I wasn't going to do easy anymore, but I thought this was a good easy problem to go over. Um, I started a Slack channel, so I actually this is one of the questions I posted in the Slack channel. If you guys want to check that out in the description below. And lastly, subscribe if you haven't already. I post these videos every weekday. I'm preparing for interviews, so I'm doing a lot of LeetCode. And let's get to it. Okay, so the description reads, given a sorted array, nums remove the duplicates in place, so we can't create a new array such that each element appear only once and return the new length. Um, remember, do not allocate extra space. So it's O of 1, memory, space, and it doesn't matter where you leave beyond, what you leave beyond the returned length. So what that means is when we um, replace 2 here, we're just returning... Uh, one and two. We're not returning what comes after. That's why we can do it in place. Um, I don't think it would work otherwise. So the whiteboard, I have a longer example I want to go over. So what we're going to want to do is um, we're going to want to have basically two pointers. Um, so let's call one. We're going to put J there and I here. Um, so we're going to have the for loop for int i equals one i don't want to write the rest out you know how for loops work um so if nums of i does not equal so when they don't equal each other is when we need to swap them um other than that we're just going to be incrementing i so um but inside of here so well, let's loop through it first. So eventually i is going to equal, go to two, and they're not gonna equal each other. So we need to swap this one with this, or we need to place this two here. We don't need to swap them. Um, so how are we gonna do that? Well, first J is still here. So let's move J to the next, to where it, it belongs. Um, so plus plus j or j plus plus it doesn't matter and then we're going to swap nums not swap i keep saying that set nums of j equal to nums of i and okay good i was almost on the video i'm sorry guys and it's not very big to nums i'm sorry for my terrible handwriting um so that's it. That's like the whole logic behind it. The hardest part is just coming up with it. And so let's do that. So we have int j equals zero and i equals one for i equals one, i less than nums. So like I said, if um, Then we want to increment j, and uh, nums of j becomes nums of the value that nums of i had. And so I'm going to go back to the whiteboard. So now the array is. Um, so I'm just going to start a new one. Now it's two. So we swap those two. So now it's t uh, yeah. There's still a two here in a three. So what it's going to do is J is going to still stay here. I still here. Um, but I still equals it. So it's actually going to go to here. It gets, I gets here and then it sets J. We remember we increment J. So boom. Um, <clears throat> and then we um, set nums of J equal to nums of I. So, and then we just want to return these three. We don't want to return the duplicates, I guess you'd say. Um, so your function should return length equals two. And so now we just need to return, um, <clears throat> so J is going to be equal to one. So we need to return J plus one your function should return length five. So yeah, because 
J's on the, well, no, J's on the second index. Yeah, so we need to return the first three elements. Oh, and I meant to put the return. Sweet. So what this statement is doing since J is the second index, it's equal to two. We want to set it equal to three because that's the, uh, the length. Um, so we got to add one because it's zero index. Um, so that's why we add one in case you guys are confused. So let's actually submit this. And 100% um, memory usage, what the? Uh, we did it in place. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, okay, yeah, so just O of N runtime for the for loop. I don't know why, uh, percentage, whatever. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys learned something. If you like this video, hit that like button. Uh, I post videos every weekday, and I'll see you soon.